looking for passive income? Well, then you should think of dividends. Yes, dividends, dividends, dividends. Ones, and I'm going to give you two that I like for good dividends on an index fund. Okay, let's talk about index funds or ETFs. Now, we all know diversification helps lower risk. So you can invest in an ETF or an index fund that has many different stocks in its portfolio rather than a dividend stock. There's, when you diversify in a fund, you reduce your business risk. That is the risk associated with that business. However, you do have the systemic risk, which was the overall market risk. Diversification reduces risk overall. It's important when you look at a fund to look under the hood and know what's in their portfolio. Which stocks are they holding? Are they holding a lot of financial stocks? Maybe it's not an ideal investment for you. Be familiar with what's in the portfolio before you invest. Warren Buffett said, know what you invest in. That's important. So know what you invest in before you do. It's important to look at the fund's portfolio. Did okay, I'm going to give you two ideas on index funds that I like for dividends. One, SPY. S&P 500 High Dividend ETF. So SPYD compared to VU. Both are indexes of the S&P 500. However, SPYD, the High Dividend ETF, has currently a dividend yield of about 6.4%. Management fee of SPYD is 0.07%. VU, on the other hand, has a dividend yield of 1.67% and a management fee of 0.03%. You can see why I prefer SPYD, High Dividend ETF. Okay, here's a second one, SPHD. SPHD is the High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. SPHD currently has a dividend yield of 4.25%. Management fee is at 0.3%. So to me, SPYD and SPHD present great opportunities for dividend plays on index funds. Dividends, dividends, dividends. Passive income at its finest.